It is 19th of May 2020 and uh, in a couple of weeks I will have to start mowing the lawn and uh, it is now time to take the snowblower off and uh, I just show you some of the details of this machine. This design is far from perfect as it is basically made of scrap metal. I can also mention some of the worst flaws of this. So anyone who is designing their own snowblower can perhaps learn from my mistakes. Starting from the tractor, I had to make this bracket for this shaft holding the pulley and uh, this mounts to the original place here with the four eight millimeter bolts on the frame and there is one larger bolt holding it right here and uh, there are two pillow block bearings and uh, the shaft is 20 millimeter shaft The pulley is mounted with this tape lock push. The drive shaft is from a micro car and uh, this end, the wheel end is cut and uh, welded on this shaft so this just sticks on that. And uh, this piece is welded on the C V joint. It is a twenty millimeter bush, and uh, it is just mounted using this bolt and uh, this bush is spliced so the bolt can apply more pressure and hold it there isn't any play on that I had to make these brackets for the tractor and uh, they mount on these mounting holes on the frame. The other mounting points are at these standard mowing deck holes over there. And these cross braces are stabilizing. The first version also didn't have steering and it was impossible to drive this as these these are like cartwheel free wheeling wheels and uh, I had to modify the shaft from here to here so the caster angle would be zero now the lifting system uses this electric winch over here and there are controls for it on the tractor the cable goes on the end of this arm here which operates the shaft the frame itself is made of an old water tank the pieces of the screw or the auger what this is called it is also made of the water tank 
this is the other half what was left of it and uh, there are standard bearings on the end the gear box is from a, a smaller hand operated snow blower now the impeller might look weird but this is the third version of it and uh, the snow being very wet slush in this country this has worked the best so far the impeller is running at very high speeds up to two and a half thousand rpm the next modification I might do is increase the diameter of this auger between the impeller and the main auger as some of the snow keeps getting packed in front of the impeller and uh, this is keeping a small tunnel free for the snow to get in but it should be larger I have speculated that I should have made this impeller housing 100 millimeters larger and also the impeller and uh, then I could have run the impeller much lower speed but believe me or not the smaller high speed impeller has been really good at very wet snow there are two ducts on this blow and uh, this one is detachable I can take this off and this is essential for the very wet snow as this is completely free port and it doesn't get clogged port on this side doesn't have the mechanism for the closing it so it has this if I need to open this bonnet I just undo the pins holding the cross braces then I turn these away like so the electronics of this thing have these two cables going to the tractor and they have just plugs there are lights and the electronic winch so four wires so taking this off is easy just have to undo these nuts on each side and those pins and the steering which is just goes to the shaft of the front wheels but taking the belt drive off is a bit more complicated and uh, it takes maybe 15 minutes of time the tractor has these chains and some extra weight thank you for watching and if you have any ideas for improving this please let me know
in case you were wondering, this is a catalytic converter from a 600cc motorcycle. These are dirt cheap because everyone is removing them from their bikes. But on these small engines, like lawn tractors, the exhaust fumes are sometimes quite significant, especially if it isn't windy outdoors. So this has made driving this tractor a lot more convenient.